Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda May and this is my channel, Artith Design, where we celebrate counted cross stitch, sustainable stitching, and making all the things. Today is, it's mid-August. <laughs> It's Tuesday, 2020. I have little Luna Pug here with me. Loki Pug is wandering around. He got a brand new squeaker ball. So you might be hearing that tonight. <laughs> we are here to talk all about counted cross stitch and a little bit about cute pugs. Maybe some quilting at the end. I am so happy that you are joining me today. It is hot, hot, hot here in Maryland. I am in Central Maryland. And it is 93 degrees with a heat index of, oh my goodness. <laughs> so I have been indoors enjoying my new air conditioning unit. Thank you so much for central air. There's a quote from the movie Mona Lisa Smile with Julia Roberts. And it was like, Freon, it's going to change everything. You know, Freon air conditioning. <sighs> it has changed my life. That little chemical. All right. I am so excited to talk about the projects that I worked on this week. I started a couple new projects, finished a project, got some stitchy kindness in the mail that I would love to show because who doesn't love show and tell? I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So I hope you do too. <laughs> and we're going to do a little bit of a giveaway because you are so precious. Yeah. We're going to do a little bit of a giveaway because as of two years ago, two, this is my second floss tube anniversary. Woo woo. Two years ago, I uploaded my very first video to floss tube. I had no makeup on a t-shirt. My hair looked very different. <laughs> and I talked all about <laughs> counted cross stitch and what got me started in this area. And I just, I love it so much. I say it uh, and I will continue to say it. Floss tube has changed my life. It has made me feel closer than ever in a time when many of us are very far apart. I started my floss tube journey after being inspired by all of the wonderful stitchers across the globe who <laughs> were stitching and sharing their work. And I wanted to be a part of it as well. I had complications with um, the birth of my son and was homebound for a while. And so floss tube brought me tremendous comfort along with cross stitching in general. And now uh, my son is three. We finished a quilt this week and life is good. So we're going to do, we're going to talk, we're going to do giveaway stuff. So hang tight on that. I want to also thank everyone who joined me for whether for live or the replay of the Just Cross Stitch Spool, basic spool finishing tutorial that I did over on Facebook. I showed how to make some stuff and I wanted to just kind of quickly show again uh, some of the little spool ideas here. I took an excerpt, the Halloween, out of one of the charts from this issue and painted a bunch of spools and did some decorating because why not, right? Uh, so using unfinished wooden spools, I have a link to the, the set that I bought. It was like pack of 72 and it had all the different size ones to using your vintage ones. And I, <laughs> I literally own one vintage spool. So I use my fun little counting pens to secure this so that I can change this with the season. A little decorative button of a fun little kitty cat and one of my vintage orange thread holders. So that just different ways that you can finish things with spools. The one that I think is super cute, I did a test run last year of the Sulky Thread, which is, this is one of those, I think it's the Autumn Blendables. This is 14 count Ada. I want to say it's the oatmeal Ada. And I 
glued it directly onto the spool and then I put some Lady Dot Creates rickrack down using the Aileen's Tacky Glue. I painted it on with a paintbrush. Fun fact, uh, make sure you have designated paintbrushes. So if you are gluing a lot, like doing fabric gluing and you're using a paintbrush, use that paintbrush just for glue. <laughs> not try to interchange them. I have ruined several <laughs> paintbrushes by mixing and mac mixing and matching my mediums. I used some ribbon from the Monahan papers. She is on Etsy. Awesome. I'll have it linked below. Another one of the dress it up kitty cat buttons. So cute. One of my uh, original spools that I've had in my collection, the mini spool here, and the three eighths of an inch ribbon fits on the tiniest spool there. So just some cute little things. I have the bigger and longer tutorial that I discuss it later. I got a Loki pug right here. I'm gonna, he's kinda, let's see. Loki, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hi. Right. What are you doing? You want to say hi to our friends? So he's hanging out right here. All of you were so kind last week with his little appearance when he <laughs> sat behind me and kind of <laughs> watched me talk about my projects. That was so funny. I, <laughs> I showed my kids and they're laughing so hard watching him. All right, so spools. We're going to talk about what I stitched this week and my headband is falling off. So if you've all been with me for the last couple years, you have seen me go from very short hair to no hair with the accidental shaving of my head, which I have to thank my son and husband for when I accidentally got my head shaved. And now I have the wonderfully unkempt, <laughs> unlayered, layered hair. All right. I want to show you my stitching this week, but I want to, I, I can't, I can't wait to talk about giveaway. So we're going to do it right now. Okay. Of course, standard giveaway rules apply. Be over 18 because you legally to give me, well, to enter, just, you got to be over 18. Okay. <laughs> you do not need to give me your mailing address for this giveaway. What? Say what? Yes. I want to thank all of you for of course, spending time with me. So you've got to be a subscriber. And the giveaway is for $50, five dollars $50 gift certificate to kittenstitcher.com. I want to thank Teresa Vanette for sponsoring half of my giveaway. I, my channel, Artist Design, it's $25. She matched it with another 25. So it's a $50 gift certificate to kittenstitcher.com. So if you win, you're going to be directed over to her with the little code in your name to claim your gift certificate. What do you have to do to enter? Okay. Yeah. So be 18. Don't say giveaway. Be a subscriber. And the magical word is kitten. K-I-T-T-E-N. Kitten. I would love for you to use it in a sentence. For instance, I am allergic to kittens, but I sure do love them. <laughs> I am going to be reading all the comments. I'm going to do my absolute very best to respond to everybody's comment because that's what I want to do. So, but please give me time <laughs> if I don't get to it right away, but you will be entered and I'm going to be drawing uh, next Tuesday before I film for my videos. So I film usually on Tuesdays and then upload and it goes live early morning, early morning on Wednesday, Eastern time. Two years on floss tube. <laughs> Thank you all so much. I really appreciate it. I'm over here gushing. Okay. Let's talk cross stitch. I started a brand new project in a little bag. I was prototyping how to make some cute little bags. This doesn't have any interfacing or anything in it. I just wanted to figure out what the heck I was doing. So I stitched this up. 
I decided to start the Heart in Hand Creepin' Creepin' It Round pattern by Color and Cotton and Heart in Hand. It was a collaboration. I wanted to get this and I didn't have it. And then Karen sent it to me. Yay! Threads and all to stitch it. So I pulled out a fabric. Unfortunately, I did not have a green fabric. So I just did a little stash dive and grabbed a piece. And unfortunately, I made the wrong choice. So this is my start. And I think I, I made a I made a mistake. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. So I started with the B and then the O, O for boo in the center of the design here. But it's really hard to see on the white. And then I won't, I can't see the ghost at all. And I thought about maybe adding back stitching. I just no, I think I need to do this in a different fabric. In addition to that, the gorgeous colors that it comes with. I accidentally stitched the wrong one. The two oranges are right next to each other. There is the pumpkin glow and the candy corn. And I accidentally, I, I inverted the color. So I made the wrong color choice, stitched the wrong thing on the wrong fabric. So I'm going to change it. Yes, I am. Oh, this is the, I think the first time ever I've worn my hair down during a video and it is warm, warm, warm. Okay. So creeping it round, I don't know if it if it's available or if it's still limited edition just for that kit. The next project that I worked on, and I'm happy to say that I I finished it. Well, it's not again, not fully finished, but I'm I'm very happy with it. It's in this little bag that I made. All of you were so kind. This fabric, it's called Briar Wood, and it's by Northcott Fabrics. And I, I think it's just so precious. So I, I love it so much. So in here, I decided to finish my Onward Noble Steed. It was a stitch along with uh, Stephanie of Lindy Stitches. I went ahead and changed my animal to my rendition of the Loch Ness Monster. And here she is. I love it so much. I wanted to keep adding and adding and adding, but I finally just said, no, I think she's done. I think she's done. So I, I, I was thinking about, should she hold the reins? Should this be like a necklace? Should this, what should this be? And I, I wanted to just stop myself from overanalyzing and she's done. <laughs> I've decided she's done. Uh, I really enjoyed this piece. I love the combination of the purple and the yellow. I I think it's really fun. So I want to make this into a drum. So this would be my first ever drum finish if I do decide to do it as a drum. And I thought that I would add some, if you can see here, I don't have more blue stitching, but I thought Maybe I could add a couple rows of either rickrack or ribbon down here uh, for the water. And then as far as the top goes or the bottom, I don't know what type of fabric I'll use. If I'll use like a blue or a purple or I don't know, but I, I really like it. I charted this using her week one chart. So it had just the girl and then I... I used the grid to chart this part. I'd already started stitching the original animal all the way down to here and then decided no and I went up. This down here I I just stitched along and it just that's what it came to. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> but that's what it is. So on the floss here is all going to go back into my personal thread stash that I have and yeah i'm excited i'm excited this frees up my project bag it has the lace from diana of it is kismet stitches the purple was silk that was sent to me from trish of threads entwined i used this beautiful for the water it uh is this variegated sent to me by ally and it's um rumpleberry rumors this is what I used for the water. So I had a lot of friend 
gifts in here and then I used the old tattered flag the grungy green for lock for the Loch Ness I really enjoyed this green I can see it um, using it for um, prim stitching for like Christmas prim so I think I'm gonna order some more from her website my understanding she does not sell this wholesale this is her own dye and her own label that you can only get at her shop so I'll have the link below not affiliated with her at all <laughs> other than really enjoying um, her punch needle pro products so there we go I have a finish and then I couldn't help myself since I finished one of Stephanie's projects, I had to work on another one. So I pulled out uh, the boobies. I wanna say pulled out my, whipped out my boobies, whipped, work in progress. I'm gonna get in trouble over here. All right, it, this is beach dance, so precious. I'm using all the called for threads, not the called for fabric. I am stitching this on M like a purple lavender and I love it. It is the fabric. I'm looking for the fabric name and I don't know what it is. Where did I put the name? It is 32 count peaceful purple. I want to say it's by Wichelt peaceful purple. I'm stitching this with two strands. Look at this. My bad habits. I just leave my needle right in my fabric. Uh, two strands over two linen threads. So I have him done. I got his eyeball in here and I'm working down on his beak. So I'm not halfway, but I'm, I've got, I've made a good bit of progress. I cannot wait to add that flower right here and finish his beak off. And then his little friend is right next to him dancing. So there's literally one one row of that brown that goes down right there so I'm excited <laughs> it's so cute I don't know how I'm going to finish this but I do have um the finishing trims the lady dot finishing trims and I just put all my dmc on a on little floss cards that I made with scrapbook paper I just think it's fun so all that talk about bobbins. Here I am doing floss cards. Don't hold me to anything. <sighs> so thank you, Stephanie, for such a lovely little pattern. Uh, I was going through a lot of my magazines. I'm doing some organizing with uh, bookshelves and making room for stuff and one of the covers of one of the magazines was stitch your tits t-i-t-s for the bird <laughs> i'll have to bring it next time and show you i couldn't help myself okay the last project that i worked on this no i'm lying i have two more to show you okay the second to the last project that i worked on this week is a kit from Titan Needle Crafts. This was sent to me by my friend Grace in West Virginia. She saved this from going to the landfill and it was a sealed new and packaged kit, no problems, except for that needle stuck in the Ada and the needle rusted. So the fabric was unusable. So I pulled a different fabric to stitch this on. The, there's another kit that she sent me. It's also sealed. And I, I suspect that Mr. Claus, his fabric is also rusted, but the, the floss is fine. There's no odor. We just have to keep in mind. And I know I am bad at keeping this in mind. Um, in humid climates, putting your needle in, it can rust overnight onto the fabric. The change in humidity, the acidity, the corrosion from the acids on your fingers, on the needle, and all, all the various factors. <laughs> Enough talk, let me show you. I, I, what I really like about this little kit was, of course, her little cute cheeks. Look at those little cheeks. But also, it comes with all the colors, so I didn't have to do any type of 
hunting down for the I just needed to figure out which color goes with which so the kit it didn't it was all loose how they usually have them in the kits like wrapped around like this so I went through and I put them all on my little fl this floss card this floss it's it's wood I got this in the prize package from the just cross stitch um ornament contest winnings so it was nice to finally officially be able to use this one of the things that I would been wondering was okay so you know when am I going to use this this is exactly when you use this kind of card when you have like little kits and you want to just put them all right here so it was perfect um very excited I'll keep an eye on your thread and who doesn't love a good pun I grabbed a piece of fabric from um that Karen sent me thank you Karen and I went and took it to my sewing machine and stitched down what I do is I fold over the edge and then I use like a num the on my sewing machine it's number three and it's a, like a small zigzag and I zigzag all the way around my linen that helps me just to keep the, the fabric from fraying and having little threads everywhere. So this is the piece of fabric and there she is. She is almost done. I need to put her eyes in and then there's white right here in the snow. I, I did everything sort of. So right here for a while I thought she was holding like a present and then I thought no she's knitting like she's got a ball and then her hands are like this and she's knitting and then as I'm working on it, I'm like no she's not knitting she's not doing she's holding her purse and I firmly believe in pockets not purses <laughs> and yes don't even question me and my totes I got totes everywhere totes to carry all my stuff but I thought maybe it would be fun to add like a three-dimensional star button here or a wreath or like some beadwork where she's like holding maybe a garland. So I did not stitch the metallic gold for the purse. And instead I just added down the white and stuff where the purse footprint would have been. <laughs> so I'm really excited and I'm debating if I'm going to put him next to her on this piece of fabric or just on this side do him and then there'll be two separate ornaments but I thought maybe it would be cute to have him next to her and not put the words in and then there's one more pattern kit did I grab it and it's a little reindeer it's so cute and I thought well I'll do the reindeer too I don't know I'm getting ahead of myself I have so many things I want to stitch but this has been really fun again it's um Titan Needlecraft 81555. Super cute. That is what I worked on. And then I feel bad talking about this project, but I'm I'm gonna talk about it because things don't always go your way, and it's okay to acknowledge that. So I have been working on the Needles Dance. It was a collaboration chart that came out in 2019, Nashville. Then it got released to everyone this year. And I'm having a heck of a time with it. So I'm, I, my husband bought me the whole kit and caboodle. And so it came with all the called for threads, all the, the fabric, it came with everything. And I have really struggled with this border. I think it's a combination of it being a dark fabric. I mainly stitch at night after my children go to bed. So just trying to stitch at night with a dark fabric. And then the way it is, it reminds me of like a DNA double helix, the way it's wrapped, but there's spaces in between. So it's not a consistent border where I can consistently count. It's like I get a rhythm, one, two, three, oh, I gotta skip, oh, two, oh, I gotta skip, I gotta skip. And I have been really struggling. And then, so then I got two needles and had two threads and I was trying to stitch and like try to weave it through and I was still making mistakes. So 
I'm, I'm really having a hard time with this piece. When it came out, I absolutely loved it. And right now, it, it's gonna, um, it's gonna, it's gonna take a leave of absence. It's gonna go on sabbatical for a little while, and I am, I'm okay with that. The colors are really pretty. It, I'm, that the called for colors. It came all nice and organized. I really like the colors. It just, that border is not my favorite. <laughs> all right. Now, that is officially everything that I have cross-stitched. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm kicking stuff around. Um, that is everything that I have cross-stitched this week. The next thing that I have done, pulling my notes. Hold on. My, okay, we're going to talk stitchy kindness. Oh my gosh. So this was totally unexpected. I sent my husband to the post office to just check my mail. You know, it's important checking your mail. <laughs> he came home with two projects and the sun is hitting me really weird. I'm filming. It's like later in the day. I need a hair thing. What am I doing? I'm all disheveled over here, guys. Okay. Um, so he went to the mailbox and he came home with two packages. Oh my gosh, two. So thank you so much. So this is a thank you to Deb and to Sally for sending me what just a wonderful, wonderful care packages. So thank you so much. So first is Deb and I can tell she is a fan of my channel because I talked about this Kingsland quilt shop number five extensively. I love the three-dimensional aspect of it. You stitch it on an 18 count Ada, you stitch the quilt separately, and then you sew them on to the top of fabric. Well, she sent me the pattern. Here it is. This, so this is Kingsland quilt shop number five. Do not jump up there on my stuff. And the three-dimensional, you can't really see it here. So quilt shop number five. Uh, this is dated 1989, so she's a vintage. You could always stitch it, take the swand off, and change the color palette. But wait, there's more. Okay, yep, and you're all on my projects. Okay. Ah, okay, don't step on my stuff. Can you come over here? Come here. Okay. All right, so she had to go get some of her vaccines and stuff and she ended up having an allergic reaction because this was her first time getting all of her shots with us because she we rescued her last year and she came with all of her shots the rescue organization so we didn't know that she was going to have a reaction so she's she's had a little bit of issues yes hi baby hi honey okay all right so she sent me not just one kingsland pattern Look at this one. I have never seen this one before. This is Kristen's feather bed number 11. Look at that clock. Love it, a grandfather clock and it's gorgeous. I love it. it's got like the black work windows and ah, it's really cool. And then this third one, I have never seen this one before. Oh my gosh, it is on my two stitch list. I think however, I will change I might do a color conversion. Look at that. It has everything that I love. It has quilts, it has miniatures. It's got a rocking horse. It's got all the nautical stuff. It's got the beautiful stained glass. I love stained glass. The only thing that's not my favorite is the mallard, which I could totally not stitch. You know, like I could add another ship over here and make it my own. It's so cute. So I love this. This is Kingsland Attic Quilts number eight. Also, this is dated 1990. So Deb, thank you so much. She sent me a lovely note and really a, a surprise to get it. She also sent me a couple other ones. This quilt shop one. I love this. I love, okay, I love them all. <laughs> this one. It's got the vintage, the Singer sewing machine, sewing room. It, when you see this, remember me. Yeah. 
Can you not do that? And then Country Collections, the Hoosier Cabinet. It's really cute. It's got the boxes, a little puppy. It's got a sampler and the samplers within the sampler. So cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, all over my stuff. Okay. This is why we can't have nice things. Okay. He got his new ball today in the mail. It is a playology and it's supposed to be like a peanut butter smell. Oh my gosh. So <laughs> he got that in the mail and he has been gung ho about it. All right. The next bit I wanted to show you is from Sally. Hi, Sally. Thank you. She sent me some really cool like vintage trims, floss, some super fun, um, a beautiful note. Thank you. And then these really fun plates like very sunshiny plates. They're so fun. And then y'all look at this. Look at what I got. Oh my goodness. It's you I like. So she, she stitched me the um, Diana. It is Kismet stitches that it's a movement, not a sow stitch along. Uh, and it's a quote from Mr. Rogers. It's you I like with a sunflower, my favorite, and red, also one of my favorites. Isn't that so precious? So I now have two, uh, thanks to Sally, and then last year, Karen sent me one as well. So I have two of these now, and I, I feel so, so honored and blessed, so thank you so much. So that's my stitching kindness. No, I lied. She also, Sally also sent my kids, so excited about this, because school is right around the corner. So she, I had talked about these, um, talked about these crayons and she found them for me. The 32, and it's for the different uh, skin tones, the different shades, because it's important um, to think about diversity and inclusion, not only in, in, in art in all aspects and being able to, uh, properly represent yourself with the correct skin tone or as close of approximation as possible is awesome. And then sustainable, the solar powered crayons. So cool. Uh, they say they are manufactured um, using mostly solar powered. She also sent me a couple of cute little mini stockings. I love little, little stocking kits. The poinsettia, the wreath. Don't squeak that on my video. Uh, so cute. She also sent me, look at this little fabric. Oh my gosh, everything's falling. I swear, I'm usually more put together, I promise. Okay. Okay, she sent me, can you not squeak that? She sent me this fun little frame. You can put stuff in. And look at this fabric. Look at this. Isn't this is so cute? Look at this little gingerbread. Look at she. She's so happy. And then the gingerbread, you can cross stitch the garland. Look at that. That three dimensional garland for the little house because I love gingerbread houses. I love them so much. She also sent Lizzie Kate All Hearts Warm at Christmas. So cute. Crafty makeovers, yes, please. The For the Love of Cross Stitch issue. And look at the sunflower. Look at that. <laughs> and here's Tea Party. That is in this issue. 21 Projects, 1990. Here is Summer's Remembered by Paula Vaughn. It's pretty. Look, more quilts. And Victorian Bouquet. And I believe I have this pattern already in my collection. So this one might 
be a giveaway at some point. So I have all this fun stuff. Thank you so much, Sally. Yay! Oh my goodness. Like I said, I think this is the first time I've ever worn my hair down for a video. <laughs> oh, okay. What else do I want to talk about? Oh, I wanted to thank you all so much for your positive feedback and comments about the sulky acrylic thread that I was talking about. So I just wanted to circle back to that again. I talked about it last week and I had a lot of questions and um, some people even emailed me about it. I I did a review of the thread. Unsol I, I All my own opinions, not a sponsored ad, nothing um, of this thread. This is how you spell it. Um, F-I-L-A-I-N-E. I will have the link to my blog with the review of the thread. I, I said it and I'll keep continue to say it. I really think this thread is a game changer for cross stitch. Let me explain why. I, I have tried it on multiple projects and it, I believe it mimics wool beautifully so a wool work sampler or it has that same look and characteristic but it's a synthetic fiber when i say this is a game changer i mean that for people who are stitching so take away the wool work take away all that stuff and think about the people who are stitching on um, 10 count fabric or 14 count Ada, like this project here that I'm working on. I know several people are stitching on 14 count Ada uh, either due to sight or uh, mobility issues with your hands. And what I like about this acrylic thread that if you have mobility or arthritis in your hands or your, your, your vision impaired, but you love to cross stitch, you can stitch and get beautiful full coverage of uh, on your 14 count piece with one strand of floss. So this up here is cotton. This is the 12 count cotton one strand that's the charcoal and one strand this is the charcoal acrylic one strand do you see the difference in there i i really do truly believe that this is a game changer for those that stitch on 14 count or 28 count 28 count um like a linen or an even weave fabric and you only want to use one strand of floss with full that gives you that full coverage look. I am not paid or sponsored to say that. That is my own personal opinion. I have stitched several projects now with this and I want to continue to work with this. That wool work sampler that I show in my blog, the section that I, the one motif that I stitched, I have the full sampler that I would love to reproduce. And I contacted Sulky about the, the rest of their color line so that I can fully translate the vintage and, and the reproduction and have as close of approximation as I can to the colors because the colorway is different. The numbers are different. Oh, excuse me, the dogs are knocking this again. The numbers are different between the cotton and the acrylic. So I'm not, I'm having a difficult time with the color conversion but i want to thank everyone who had such great things um questions about the thread i really i firmly believe if you like to stitch with one strand on 14 count or on uh 28 count this is the, a floss to try i will say the price point um they're gonna come out they were telling me they're gonna come out with the 50 yard spools um 
in 2021 and that was pre-March with everything that changed. I don't know as far as global supply and everything if they're still on par to do that. These are the 30, 330 yard skeins. Um, but I feel like the price point is really good. So um, the, the project that that is, is I'm, I'm stitching Remember Me and it's just this section. Hugs, can we not do that? Um, by um, Birds of a Feather. Okay. <laughs> the last thing I want to talk about is... Okay, can we... No, 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 no. Look at him. Look at him. What are you doing? Can you, can you be nice on my video? Can you, can you not fight on my video? Okay. The last thing that I want to talk about is my quilts. I worked on uh, two quilts this week and finished, uh, finished one. Well, just the quilt top. Um, I actually need to actually quilt it and bind it and all that stuff. And I worked on another quilt that I started last year and I have three of the pieces put together that I want to show you. So what I did, okay, here we go here. I want to show you. I, this, so this is, <laughs> I love this so much. I got three pieces of fabric and this is called Witch Way, W-I-T-C-H, witch, like witches, Witch Way uh, by, and this is out by, and it's Alexander Henry Fabrics. I got, stop chewing that. I got three of these pieces um, at the scrap exchange in Durham, North Carolina last year when we drove down to get the pugs from the Mid-Atlantic Pug Rescue foster home. So these were the three pieces of fabric that I got from the scrap exchange and I love them so much. And then all of this fabric here, I had had in my collection, they were either like, I think this one right here was from Walmart, like in their fat quarter section and then thrift store fabric and fabric from, um, patches quilting, just a bunch of different things that I'd had. I had stitched these last year, these panels, but didn't do anything with them. So this year I cut and stripped and added these together. So I have three and I'm trying to decide what I want to do with them, but I, I'm really excited about it. Maybe this year I'll actually have a quilt top finished. <laughs> I went through while I was organizing my quilt magazine and book collection. I went through and found a pattern in one of my quilt books that I would like to work on this year as well. I don't know if uh, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I am a very new quilter. I sew straight lines. I've never fully finished a quilt before. I looked up how much it would cost to get a long arm quilt machine because of Carol, uh, the salt box stitcher. She has a long arm quilting business and we all want to be like Carol. <laughs> so I, I looked at that and then quickly went, nope, that's not in my price range ever. So I enjoy quilting. I don't know what I'm doing. So <laughs> that's all I have to say. I grabbed this. I got this book at a thrift store. It's called Glad Yule Quilted Goods for the Holiday Home by Wanda Hay Ashler. And this is the quilt that I would like to do. It's got the stars and it's called um, Dairy Stars. And I really like that. I have never um, made anything like that before, but I would love to give it a shot. What I like about it, <laughs> they put a little cow down here and it's got a witch hat on it for a Christmas, <laughs> Christmas book. And I'm like, that's me. So that's about my stitching this week of quilting and cross stitch. So, uh, Oh my gosh, thank you all so much for hanging out with me as <laughs> the pugs and uh, two years on floss tube. If you would like to be entered into the giveaway, use the word kitten, K-I-T-T-E-N, somewhere in your comments. 
I want you all to know that I appreciate you. I want you to know that you matter. Don't let anyone take the joy of stitching away from you, especially in these troubling times. Life is hard and don't let anyone tell you that your stitching doesn't matter because it does matter. And if you need someone to tell you it matters, I will be here to tell you that your stitching matters. It doesn't matter if you ever finish it. If you enjoy just the process of it, I enjoy the process of quilting. Whether or not they'll ever be done is, is a totally different conversation. If you enjoy it, do it. You're not hurting anybody. Do it. So remember, you matter. Your stitching matters. Say kitten. Thank you for being on this journey with me. And I will see you next week. Take care and happy stitching, my friends.